just wanted to show you some excellent GCSE examples. So if I start with this one quickly, you can see that this artist here, so this copy here, if you look at the way they've used all that colour and movement, what the student has done is taken that colour, used it on the background here, but typed up her writing so it's got a nice white background so it stands out against that very busy background. On this page where she's got the busy copy, she's used a plain background to make that shine. So it's about balancing those two pages up. The next student here, you can see this artist is the copy here is beautiful. It's in such detail and the artist uses quite a pale background. So keeping that, we've just got this simple piece of brown gum tape, masking tape. So it's echoing the color palette and then beautifully written up annotation. We've got another copy here. So again, this is Banksy. So it's the kind of graffiti spray paint. And with that, it's got this, it's not a neat background like graffiti wouldn't be. And it's been brushed on that page. The typing has then been typed up and the title has almost been stenciled on there as the title name of the artist. So completely again, fitting with the style of the artist. The next book here, so this is an artist and she mainly makes sculptures out of brown paper. So you can see here that the background is simply brown parcel paper. The title is in brown parcel paper, but using that black outline it stands out. So because the artist used brown or parcel paper, that is what we have stuck with. The next one I've got to show you here, I really like this one as well, so we've got this wonderful, so it's a collage artist, we've got this wonderful copy going on here, but then they've taken these shapes that were in the copy and we've used them as the background over here. We've got a writing on top, a nice strong title, and then the beautiful images. The next one I'm going to show you here, so this artist, as you can see, she just uses this little splash of colour. So the copy, little splash of colour. And here along the top, we've got this little splash of colour coming in. So sometimes they do not have to be complicated backgrounds at all. This artist here, so again, she works on this kind of letter. So they, the student has taken this pattern around this letter and then actually done that around her page. So the page has very much become an extension of the copy. And lastly, this artist here actually makes sculptures. They're sculptures of real life people, but they're tiny, but they're incredibly detailed. So she did this lovely tonal copy down here. And actually what she's used as a background, she's gone into a magazine. She's torn out loads of images of skin color and all these different skin colors and hairs. And that's what she's collaged in the background. And then she's cut her own writing out over the top. If you're still unsure about a background and you can't come up with any ideas, then like this student here, her background on this page is actually just a page of the artist's images. So your background can be a page of the artist's images and then you do your writing on top of it and then you have your copy on that page. So the key is to take something from the artist and use that within your presentation to show your understanding of the style. Sometimes keep it simple with just a simple back border. Sometimes use the pattern. Sometimes use the colour. These are your artist studies. You've done the hard work, which was the copy and the writing. The presentation is just the thing that we use to show off all that beautiful work you've done. But if you feel stuck or confused by this, just keep it simple. You're going to get most marks for your high quality copy and that in-depth writing. The presentation is just the extra. It's the bit that shows that you fully understand your artist, but if not, keep it simple. Your skill will get you the marks. Look forward to seeing these artist studies.